Boom! Hey everybody, Last Outrider here, bringing you a review of the new Josh Trank Fantastic Four movie. Don't see it. Do not see it. Do not pay a penny to this movie. Do not do anything to support this movie. And it's not because it's a bad movie. It's because it's a Darth Murdoch and Rice Dick production. What does that mean? Don't worry about it. Josh Trank is a good director. There are good actors in the movie, and it's a good story. But you should see the story as the director wrote it, not as a movie studio ass-raped it. If you want to do that, if you want to get your Fantastic Four fix, then I strongly suggest you watch another movie also written and directed by Josh Trank, and even has some of the same actors in it, notably Johnny Storm, I believe. Watch the movie Chronicle. It came out in 2012. That's the story you will see in this movie, as the director wrote it and directed it. This movie... I'll just give you the short storyline, as I understand it, from the data that I had. Josh Trank was offered the ability to write and direct Fantastic Four, which he did. And he probably did an amazing, fantastic job of it. But you'll never see that movie, and you'll never know that story. Because they stole it from him. And instead, they said, we want you to make um, Chronicle and change the characters into the Fantastic Four. After he started making the movie. After he started making the movie. In return, they said, we will pay you an ass load of money and allow you to direct the second Star Wars project. Which, by the way, he has now turned down. Because he finally learned the hard lesson that Hollywood teaches you. It is better for you to not make your correct your creative vision at all than it is to see it corrupted and torn apart by the Hollywood movie-making process. That is a very painful lesson I had to learn, too. Don't do it. They will just kill it. And he has learned that. Now, watch Chronicle and pretend it said Fantastic Four instead of Chronicle. And you will get the version of this movie that the director would have made if he had made a Fantastic Four movie. But you will not get a Marvel version of Fantastic Four. This movie was made by Fox. Not approved by Marvel. Not approved by Stan Lee. Okay, so eventually the rights for X-Men and Fantastic Four will return to Marvel. And they will remake this movie. So will Spider-Man. They will remake that too. In Phase 4, Phase 5, you will get a new Fantastic Four, a new Spider-Man, a new uh, X-Men. Uh, probably in humans at that point. So just skip this. And probably at some point in time, you're going to get a new Deadpool. It's almost certain that Marvel is going to come out and make its own Deadpool when it gets the rights back from Fox on that movie, too. Until then, these cheesy, third-party, profiteering knockoffs, which are trying to ride along on the Marvel Universe coattails, should be avoided like the plague. And as I said... They're all going to be erased and deleted anyway in the next five to six years. So, watch Chronicle, the real movie, the real story in its original form, and just pretend that was Fantastic Four. And you will have a better experience for it. In return, you will also not be supporting the corrupt underhanded business practices of 20th Century Fox. And you'll make Josh Trank very happy. So until next time, bye! <laughs>